Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Rachel Kleiman from rwcrafts.com. Today I will be sharing with you three ATCs that I've created using those Smitten Mustache Monster stamps, but we will get back to them a little later. For now I'm prepping the bases of my ATCs using some old textbook paper. This particular book is a Brownies Girl Scout guidebook the text is hilarious and the pictures are hilarious. I, it's probably from the 50s or 60s, so it's quite entertaining. Um, I love to use it in backgrounds of my art journal pages, my tags, and of course my ATCs. I highly recommend you go to your local thrift store or garage sale and pick out some old vintage books that you can use for this type of reason. I will say when I told the woman at the counter that I was purchasing this book for the sole reason of tearing it up, <laughs> She looked at me in pure horror, but I mean, she's a bookstore owner. I'm sure she wasn't happy to hear it, but I'm still happy that it's what I'm using it for. So I did adhere that paper down using Liquitex Heavy Matte Medium Gel, and now I'm just putting some thin washi tape on top. And if you're not familiar with ATCs, they stand for Artist Trading Cards and it is the traditional dimension of an old baseball card. So it is two and a half by three and a half inches. And there are a lot of communities, art communities, even the Stamp Boutique Facebook page does some ATC trades or swaps. So if you are interested, I highly recommend getting into actually trading your ATCs. It's a really great community to be a part of. So now that the Liquitex medium has dried, I'm going over it with some acrylic paint. So this first color here is a Dina Wakely color called Marine. It's a beautiful dark blue. I really, really like that color. And now to contrast it, I'm going over it with this almost hot pink color. This is from Paper Artsy. It's a company based out of the UK. And this color is called Bougainvillea. And I grew up in Phoenix, Arizona, and I think every single house on my block had a Bougainvillea plant that was this exact color. And maybe you pronounce it differently than I do, but that's how I was raised, so we can agree to disagree on the pronunciation. And lastly, I'm using the color turquoise. Again, another Dina Wakely paint color. And I have used so much of this color turquoise that all I have left <laughs> is the paint that's sitting in the cap there. So maybe it's time for me to order some more. <laughs> so now I am going over it with a stencil called Stripes from Tim Holtz and I'm using Distress Crackle Paste. Now my Crackle Paste is pretty old. Uh, it doesn't get quite the crackle effect that a newer jar would have gotten me, but it still has great texture and a great look. You can see it's still very thick. And there is some slight crackle when you look at it up close. While I was waiting for the paste to dry, I did fussy cut my Smitten Mustache Monsters. They are an adorable stamp by the company Stamp Boutique Originals. And they make wonderful rubber stamps in the most original, unique designs that I can surely say you've ever seen. So I highly recommend looking into Stamp Boutique Originals. And again, they have great swaps that go on on their Facebook pages. So it's a wonderful community to be a part of. The challenge right now on the Stamp Boutique Facebook page is pets. So... These little mustache monsters might not technically be a pet, but I surely wouldn't mind having them in my house to snuggle. They look so nice. Maybe they would bring me a nice tray of, I don't know, some chilled white wine <laughs> with their little bow ties. They look like they're ready to serve me. So I'm not going to say no to them by any means. I color them in with my Faber Castell Polychromos colored pencils, which again, I've said it before, I still have a lot to learn but I know enough to know that I love these colored pencils. I highly recommend you invest. You can see here, I've torn up some tool, and what I love to do with tool is I hit it with my heat gun, and it actually like almost melts itself to get more dense, and then you can really see the color of it a lot more. And I have some various little metal pieces that I have painted over with gesso, and then on top of the gesso, I use some uh, crack pistachio paint color So these are very random little metal pieces I just grabbed them out of my random metal piece drawer to add some dimension to my ATC 
And that right there is called film strip, which is an ideology film strip. It's something, again, I've had for a very long time that just sits in my dimensional drawer of things that I can use for ATCs and tags. You can watch that tool just really get kind of soaked up almost when I hit it with that heat gun. I love the way it looks. It was a happy accident once and I keep going back to that little technique. So I'm finishing up my ATCs with the little random dimensionals that I found and attaching things with either Liquitex um, heavy mat gel or my tiny attacher. And now I'm adding just some glass bead bubbles as a dimensional on top of my ATC. Uh, I don't know what these little glass beads are. I believe I got them from my friend Jen Chesnick. Shout out to Jen. I miss you. I miss Baltimore. Um, if you don't have something like this, you can just use a big squirt of glossy accents and once it dries, it will probably look very similar. So I hope you've enjoyed my three smitten mustache monsters ATCs. Here are some close-up photos of the sweet guys. And as always, the supplies I've used are listed and linked in the description below. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for commenting, for liking, and for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Bye guys!